presentation on Native Americans' use of social media to celebrate Indigenous culture. During quarantine, I spent a lot of time on TikTok where I was able to find a lot of videos about Native American influencers who were sharing their culture. I became really intrigued and I even still follow them to this day. So when we were in class and I read There There by Tommy Orange, which is about modern day Native Americans living in Oakland, California, I was really intrigued how one of the main characters, Orville Redfeather, turned to YouTube to learn about his culture. Tying this more specifically into the reading, I actually have a specific quote about where he talks about learning about the powwow and watching different documentaries on YouTube, even going to sites like Wikipedia to learn about what it is to be a Native American because he was struggling with that connection between him and his culture. Also, another tie-in with social media and Native American events, which are traditionally held in person, we see this effect of COVID bringing it a lot more into social media. For instance, Facebook has uh, the social distance powwow where you're able to share videos to it rather than the intense in-person events they normally hold. So this COVID effect has started to push a lot of these ceremonies onto social media where more people outside of that culture can experience and see what it's really like. So I thought that was an interesting side note to put in that this was really catapulted a lot in the past year or two with a lot of this um, influx of use of social media trying to still stay connected when we can't stay connected in person. Just a quick side note again about what YouTube and TikTok are specifically, if you may not know. So they're both video platforms, however, TikTok limits its time to three minutes long maximum. And generally the videos are actually 15 to 60 seconds long, so it's not a lot of time in order to show your point and pack a lot of information in there and oftentimes there's actually also a lot of sounds that trend that multiple people use over and over and over again to make a video too while youtube is a lot longer of videos there's not really a maximum time and you can really delve deeper into that information rather than 15 seconds the first TikToker I want to look at is Sheena Nova, who's actually one of the TikTokers I still watch and started watching quarantine. Not only does she share her culture, but she also speaks on the intergenerational trauma that Native Americans have. And I actually have a couple of videos to watch. The first one speaks on that intergenerational trauma. Please don't talk to me about decolonization When you're still speaking in the colonizer's language See you genocide us, then you colonize us See you sterilize us, and now you fetishize us See you stigmatize us, then hum Please don't talk to me so I thought this video was really interesting because of her comment she also makes to the right where it says she's the second generation of her family to not attend a residential school. A residential school was a school that Native Americans were sent to in order to strip them of their culture and trying to make them more white. And there was a really famous one in Pennsylvania called the Carlisle Industrial School, which is another reading that we had read earlier in the semester so I thought that was another really interesting tie-in because a lot of times history feels so far removed so when you see someone personally my own age be only the second generation to not attend one of those schools it really brings it into the present moment and see how much it still affects the generations that are currently living today. The second video that she makes is actually actually Inuit throat singing which speaks more on how she spreads her own culture which is something I had never even known of before watching this video myself. I think TikTok just really shows how easy it is to really show your culture and put a lot of information to such a short video to really capture someone's attention, especially today where all our attention spans are so short. This really captures your attention and makes you want to learn more about what's going on in the video. 
The next TikTok influencer is Patrick is Navajo, where he is in full regalia and does hula hoop dancing, and the music in the background is more native and traditional music, so I thought that was a really interesting video to look at as well. This video really captures not only the vibrance of the music, but of the colors of the regalia itself, which just shows how lively this culture still is today. Now we can move on to actual YouTube videos where we have Greg Deal. This is actually a TED Talk, and he is an artist and he's also Native American. This TED Talk was titled Indigenous in Plain Sight, where he not only reviews the historical issues Native Americans have faced, but the issues they still face today about not being seen or heard on the topics that they still struggle with. The other YouTube video was actually made by BuzzFeed, which is a very popular YouTube channel that posts a variety of videos. So this is kind of more of like your news outlet. They have a very young viewership. So this really captures a much younger audience in order to help educate them on this topic. This video was really interesting to watch as well because it asks indigenous people to answer the most commonly googled questions about them, which I think is really interesting just because Native Americans, they themselves are the best source of information you can ask. So a lot of times you do just put it into Google and believe that first Google search that pops up and this kind of helps ask the people in question what you want to know about them. So those two videos are a lot longer video, so I didn't quite show them, but I do have them here in my work cited. I also not only have the novel we read, but a lot of those TikToks if you want to go out and learn more about what they post. And if you were also interested in COVID-19's effect, I do also have the CNN news article I read about that as well.